welcome to this AE Basics tutorial where we're going to carry on with paint in After Effects. Now I've got nothing in my composition at the moment so I'm just going to sort of start from scratch just to go through the whole thing with you. I'm going to create a new layer, so layer new solid and then I'm going to click OK and double click to open it in the layer menu and I've got my brush selected so that I've got my brush panel and my paint panel to the fore. If you can't see them by the way go to the Windows menu and make sure that you've got brushes ticked and paint ticked. OK, so now that I've got all of that done, let's look at my paint panel. I've got opacity 100, flirt 100, no transfer mode, no blending mode, RGB alpha, but I have got right on selected. So with right on selected and my current time indicator at the beginning, I click and drag and draw something fairly rubbish inside my layer window. So that when I hit the space bar and play back, there it is, playing through. Right, so I've created that and we know that we can scroll down our layer and we can open up the effects, open up paint, and then we've got all the different options under our brush. So we've done all of that before, we can even turn on and off the transparency. Great. So I'll leave it on for the moment, we'll turn it off in a minute. What I want to talk about now is the path. The path is this white line and we know we can play around with it and move it but it's pretty much static and you know what I'm not particularly good with drawing with a mouse and it's rubbish so I want to replace this path with something that a lot better so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my composition window and I'm going to select my text tool and I'm going to click in the composition window and type a capital L so there is a capital L so I'm going to select my layer and right click on it or alternatively you can get this from the layer menu and go to this option here which is create masks from text click on that and you'll see that a mask outlines have been created and then I can open up that open up masks you see I've got one mask for L select the mask path and copy so control or command C turn off the layer I don't even need to see it and then go down to the path for my brush select that and control or command V to paste and there you go you see you've got the actual path from the letter L brought in to my right on. So if I go to the beginning and hit the space bar, you'll see that it's going to draw in an L. Not only that, I can turn off the transparency and of course I've got all the options. So I can actually go down to the brush options and I can scale the whole thing up and I can move it across and I can even apply all sorts of different effects. So if I want to, I could apply a glow to this item or I can rotate it or I can change the anchor point to whatever I want to do for this particular piece of text but more than that I can also make this layer 3D so if I click the 3D box and I open up the transforms for the layer so if I open up transforms down here you'll see that I've got Y rotation and I can now start to move this in 3D space so that I can actually start to have a play with how this is going to look and it will draw on still so I can make it draw on in 3D space and if we want we could apply say the glow so let's go to our effects and presets and type glow and I'm going to apply stylized glow which is down here stylized glow take it to this layer and it's actually glowing and you can play around with how the glow works how big it's going to be how intense it's going to look and of course you can still go into the effect and you can still go to the actual brush itself so stroke options and I can turn around and say you know what that diameter is far too big for me I want that diameter to be a lot smaller and then I can still turn my glow radius right up if I want and glow intensity right up and have a completely different look just by playing around with these settings so that's with glow without glow with glow without glow so you've got all of these options that you can play with as well as moving the item in 3D space simply by copying and pasting whatever path you wish into one particular brush. Now do bear in mind that on one layer you can have multiple brushes. So I could if I wanted have put multiple brushes and taken multiple shapes all of which could have written on at the same time and of course I can change the duration of that write on as we've seen before I can make it happen a lot quicker or I can make it happen a lot slower by moving these keyframes 
and you can affect that for all the different layers that you're working on in Paint. So as you can see this is some really powerful options inside Paint to create things that are actually a lot more complex and a lot more powerful than at first glance you think is possible. I hope you found this tutorial useful. My name's Andrew Davis and thank you for watching.